Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Today we're doing a wheel bearing on a Land Rover Discovery TD5. see that. You can hear it squeaking going down the road. Right, obviously we've got to get the caliper and everything out of the way first. There's one, which is a 12 mil spanner. Pads are okay. Changed them not long ago. Next is a caliper carrier. It's a 19mm 12 sided socket. Here's the ABS. That's the bolt, if it'll focus. 12 sided 19mm socket. Let's get the disc off. The Land Rover friend going past. Right. It's quite a bit of playing that. I did replace it not that long ago, probably about three months, so I managed to get it under warranty the new one and hopefully it doesn't do it again. The beauty of having a lifted truck you can get the camera under the car. I know it's jacked up but still. There's four bolts that hold the hub in place and now 15 mil. top one out to the rear of the hub, towards the rear of the car. There's a clip that holds the ABS sensor in place. You've got to make sure it goes back on the way you took it off. Obviously just for reference, the back of the car is that way, This is you're at the front of the car, it came off like that. Grab your Birmingham screwdriver a bit of a tap and pull it on at the same time. There we go. I know I just use a chrome socket, but I haven't got the 32 mil impact socket. The ABS sensor fell out, so that's not a good thing either. I have got three Amigos on at the moment, and that might be the reason why. Right, tracing the wire back. The wire just travels up here goes into the body there. Just lift it out like that. We'll go up top for the plug. Down here, it's this clip here. This plug there. 
Now we reverse. We have a new wheel bearing. I don't know about anyone else, but I love having new parts. I hate buying them, but I like having new parts. Also comes with a new ABS sensor. So, thread that through first. Without trying to trap it anywhere. in the back just to keep it in place. Do apologise about the state of the vehicle. Desperately needs a clean. That's the thing when you've got a Land Rover. I see a field. I just want to drive through it. Why not? Gap. Clip I told you about earlier. Rookie mistake. I didn't put it on. Before you bolt it up though, you've got to put the sensor in it, because otherwise you won't get it in after. Do excuse the funny faces. Route the ABS sensor now, get it out of the way. supplied me with a new one so I'm gonna have to put the old centre nut back on. I'll give that a two points it's back on the ground. If you haven't got an impact gun remember to do that before you take the wheel off. I know I'm telling you now but I know it's probably a bit too late if you're following this and doing it at the same time. But yeah, save yourself a lot of hassle. Do it before you take it off the ground. Just get your breaker bar and loosen it off before you jack it up. Right, get the disc back on. It's always nice when you have no parts left over. You know you've done it right then. All that's left to do now is plug the ABS sensor back in. There's a little notch on the side of it, just here, if you can see that. You have to line up. And it's older. All I have to do now is get the wheel back on. Really heavy these ones are. And that's that job done. All the tools that I used. Large crosshead screwdriver, flathead screwdriver, 32mm socket, 27mm socket, 19mm socket, 15mm socket, a short extension, 12mm spanner, 
half inch drive ratchet obviously all the sockets are half inch drive as well Birmingham screwdriver and breaker bar and obviously half inch drive impact gun Alright guys, I hope this video was helpful um, If you found this video useful like, share and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one Catch you later